Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Talk 10 with Mahim. It gives me so much joy to communicate with you through this platform. Now you know that this channel is all about celebrating the successes of South Africans, remarkable men and women in the field of music, art, and other interesting personalities that have made their mark on the South African landscape. Now today, I wanna to take us way back into the 1940s and 1950s. And the spotlight today is on a beautiful soul, an outstanding singer of the time, Mrs. Morgan Amal Chitre. Now, what is remarkable about her musical contribution is that she was the very first Indian woman at the time to professionally record on Shalama Records. This was way back in the 1950s. And that itself is such an incredible honor. Now, the 1950s, of course, was way before I was born. And so I am very, very grateful to two special individuals that have assisted me with this episode. Firstly, I want to thank my dearest mother-in-law. She is Mrs. Devagi Gavinder. Now she has spent 80 years of quality time with Mrs. Morgan Abal Chitre. And uh, when I chatted with her and indicated my intention to do this episode, she promptly responded by eloquently writing out from memory, the musical history of Mrs. Morgan Abal Chitre which I am sharing with you today. So a very big thank you and gratitude goes out to Mrs. Devigi Gavinder. I also reached out to Mrs. Morgan Abal Chitre's son. He is Dharma Chitre and he's based in Australia currently. And he was so gracious to share his mom's recordings with me and also provided me with beautiful pictures that I have used uh, in the slide presentation in this episode. So very big thanks and gratitude goes out to these two special individuals. So let's begin with a little bit of history. Morgan Bar Chitre was born in October, 1933. As a young girl, she attended the St. Anthony's School, which is currently in Centenary Road in Durban. Now she inherited musical genes from her father. Her father was a very well-known musician. He was M.S. Chinavan Reddy. What an honor viewers, at the age of six, Morgnamal was heard singing on the SABC radio. Uh, there was a program every Sunday that broadcasted Indian music at the time. And she was just six years old and singing on this program. So that was really something very, very incredible. Mognambal was surrounded by musicians. If you look at her maternal side, her maternal uncle was Gopal. Now he was the founder of the orchestra called the New India Orchestra. And Mognambal was a star singer in this orchestra. So moving on, she was uh, 14 years old. This was in about 1947. And uh, the band embarked on a tour of South Africa. The tour or the show was called Fantasia. And Morgan Mbal sang in this show and her music was very well received by patrons of art throughout South Africa, wherever the band went. You know, one needs to understand just to, put, just to put things in perspective, South Africa was still a union at this time. At a very early age, she married and she was fortunate to marry a musician and he was Shanmugam Chitre. So together they formed a very, very good musical duo. Mognambal used to sing and her husband, Shanmugam Chitre, also known as Mickey, he used to play the tabla. And they both were part of an orchestra at the time called the Travancore Orchestra. So as you will gather from the information I'm giving you, 
Morganambal became a household name. She was a very popular singer. The Indian bands were very, very popular. So if anybody got married, a band was engaged to provide the music to entertain the guests. And uh, by means of this, Morganambal sang at many weddings and various other cultural events held in Durban at the time. Now, when you listen to the lovely recording uh, that I'm going to feature on this episode, you will also hear the rich melodious sound of the Indian bands of the 1940s and 1950s. You know, viewers, this episode has given me so much of joy to put together because Morganambal was a person that had such a zest for life. She touched all our lives in such a beautiful way. She brought so much of joy and happiness to all those that she interacted with. This was the kind of personality that she had and everybody loved her company and enjoyed her company. And uh, as my mother-in-law said to me when I chatted with her, there was never a dull moment when you were in her company. According to my mother-in-law, there is a beautiful refrain that encapsulates the lovely personality of this beautiful singer. The lines, Yellorum Pata Padanga, Yellorum Serenda Ardanga. These lines encapsulate the personality of Mrs. Morgan Chitri. It means let us all sing together. Let us enjoy life together in unity. Let us be together. Let us have quality time together. So these are the kind of emotions that uh, she brought out when she sang and as well as when she interacted with family and friends. You are now going to be treated to a lovely slide presentation. Now from her collection of songs that uh, Dharma shared with me, I chose the song Anandam because Anandam is so relevant. Anandam means joy, it means happiness. And this is the kind of emotion everybody experienced when they heard her sing and when they were in her company. Dear viewers, thank you so much for supporting this channel. I do hope that you enjoyed this episode and I know for sure that you are definitely going to enjoy the song that uh, is going to follow just now. Thank you so much for celebrating with me the talent and the successes of colorful South African personalities of the present and the past. Do enjoy the song and pay attention to the lovely band music of the 1940s and 1950s. I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>